Hi there. Name's Gary Hornfinder. Nice to meet you. So we've been taught, sold a bill of lies in the lens front. It's you pixel peeping gypsies that ruined all our lives. We could have had tiny little lenses with character, but now we don't, do we? We have Sigma glass art lenses that weigh more than my bowel movements. You know why they call them art lenses? It's because when you're holding one, the way your misshapen spine looks, it looks like art. People walk by you like, what, are you doing art right now? No, I'm crippled because this thing's too heavy. So today you pixel peeper toms are getting it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Behold the beauty, my friend. Today's shot is brought to us by the Panasonic S1 firmware update of the gods comes in a black tape thing that dare you open it, it becomes void immediately. I've never seen tape that does that. As soon as you rip it open, it's like void revealed everywhere. You're void. So we're filming in vlog because I'm a filmmaker. I sit in my living room and I make cinema, cinematography, mostly. It's, we need it. I got the S1 hooked up to my monitor here. So I'm watching it, and now I see every little speck of dust. Uh, get off. Uh, every time I make a show, I'm, like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, that shot looks good. And then I got like some weird hair or a dust magnet, something terrible. So we're on the Voigtlander 35mm 21.4, and there's zero sharpness. It's just dreamy. You don't have to be in focus. Teenage girl skin, welcome. Welcome to our hearts. Just for experiment's sake, we'll stop it down. We'll see 1.8 to maybe 2.8. I don't think I can handle that. So we're at 1.4 now. Okay, we're at 1.8 now. Did anything change? Am I sharper? Is more of me in focus? And did the tone reveal itself? Do you like my fern? You thought that was a green screen, bitch. We're at Tony too. I see. Oh no, there's flaws in my skin now. I'll smooth it out. Tony, why are you doing this to me? There. I just have to hold like this and no wrinkles. Hi. Welcome to Beauty Zone. I'll show you how. What I'm noticing is I'm actually seeing peaking now in my eyes, whereas before everything was so soft that you couldn't, it wasn't even detecting it. That's cool. So it is working. I can feel it. The background better not be tone less. All right, we're at Tony 2.8 and I've compensated with ISO. We're at 1250 now. I'm seeing so much peaking. It's too sharp for its own good. So let's go back to dreamland. Let us stay there forever. So basically this lens has character. It has spunk. It's like an old time it feel soft, glowy goodness. And most people love vintage lenses. I see it all the time. These freaks, filmography freaks out there just filming their backyard and they needed to get these 70s vintage lenses with radiation in them to show off their garden gnomes and shit. Just the dumbest B-roll. Everybody's B-roll. No one cares about your mom's flowers hanging off the fence her divorced husband built playing to Sarah Jessica Parker music. Point is, people pay good money for vintage lenses. Actually, they don't. They're cheap. That's why they get them. But still, people want vintage lenses because there's character to them. We don't mind the flaws. I swear to God, all these giant lenses are because of pixel peeping scientists, photographers. Hey, robot, can you mathematically look perfect? That is a mathematical formula. I will sell it for one Bitcoin. Where's the love? All, all anybody cares about is sharpness. And oh, I don't like chromatic aberrations. I don't care that my camera can fix it automatically. They better not be in there when I don't want it to fix. Oh, the corner sharpness. That better be good. Voigtlander is known for its corner sharpness. You don't know what you're talking about. It's beautiful. There's no vignetting. Zero. Beautiful up here. 
You wish you could have this. This is one of my favorite corners. I know that for sure. It's very sharp. I like it. The character is pleasing. Chromatic aberrations are low. I have zero complaints about the image quality of this lens. Look at that hand tone. Wow, that is art. But because some midlife crisis asshole with his Macintosh, first frickin' Macintosh ever made, and he put his photo on the computer and then he zoomed in. The first time anybody's ever zoomed in on an image and he saw, oh, my, my last lens not as good as this one. Oh, look how much sharper. When I zoom into it, 1000%. The bladed grass aperture reveals itself. I think Pixel Peepers had a boardroom meeting about it. It's bullshit. All right, fellas, welcome to the photography fan club. No, we don't have girlfriends, but we can still have fun with technology. So today I have a special gift. We got a new lens to play with. It's better than any lens we've ever had to date. That's quite the bold statement. How would we even prove that your lens is better than my lens? I'd demand a photo off. You're right, Liam. We should take two photos side by side, same camera, different lenses, compare them. We'll see. We'll see which one is the best. This one. Thankfully, someone already took the pictures and I'm looking at them side by side. I, I don't see a difference. Mm, maybe the left one's a little warmer, but not much of a difference. <laughs> what are you, blind? The difference is night and day. Look at the sharpness. Look at the corner sharpness. Unbelievable. How are you not seeing that? They just look so similar. You, you would never tell the difference. You just show these pictures to two people. They're going to be like, yeah, whatever. Same shit. Gary? Zoom in on it. Oh, yeah. Zoom in. Make it bigger. Okay. It's twice as big now. I, I see nothing. I see zero reason to buy this lens over the last one. It's not big enough. Make it 800%. Then you'll see. Just why though? You'll never see it that large. It, it ruins the shot. It's of a cathedral. I'm only seeing the window now. When are you ever going to do this? It's not about what we would do. It's about what we could do if we thought of it. Seeing that now magnified, now we know, now we know you can see it now, can't you? It's slightly sharper at 800%. Zooming back out, I don't see it anymore. That disappears. The way the photo was intended to be seen, you're irrelevant. The only thing irrelevant right now in this meeting is your old lens, your old shitty ass lens. Couldn't even resolve a freaking hair on a cat or a camel. So because of the pixel peeping fan club, born in 1841, zooming in on shit that doesn't matter, lens companies started to, oh no, we have to correct this. There's chromatic aberrations, there's corner sharpness. How are we gonna fix it? Oh, we have to make it bigger and heavier. So instead of tiny little Voigtlander wonder pieces like this, that it's this big, literally that big, including the adapter, Tiny f1.4, 21.2. In today's world, to make this lens, it's bigger than this. It's about that size and twice as heavy. Just to get rid of you pixel peeping toms, looking at your pixels. Sigma is the worst offender of them all because they want, they go for the corner sharpness. Stay in the plane, reach the corner. Oh, the glows, oh, the magic. How? How is this possible? Oh, the glory. Oh, it gets better. I'm in another dimension. You think Sigma could do this? You wish Sigma. Loser. I may be paraphrasing slightly on this next part, but if you need this much space to project light onto your stupid tiny sensor, it's not a full frame sensor like mine. Sigma will then make glass this big so this part is sharp and out here is not so great but who cares and you have to carry that around what is this carrier giraffe to work day you stupid bitch 
And they do this all because of freaks like you and sites on the internet because they compare it. Oh, look at 800%. This one's definitely sharper. Then you zoom back out, you realize you've wasted your whole life in photography. You're a loser. Just bring back the good old days. Make tiny lenses again, little vintage lenses. They got some character flaws. So what they flare like a sea man begging for help at sea. So what if the corner sharpness isn't perfect? We got some chromatic aberrations and soft image wide open. Bring back the heart. Bring it back. Right in there. Tiny glass that just has a, a look to it. Like, was that shot in the 70s? That's impressive. I wish I was from that time. Peace pipe smoking hippies. Let's all have a party. Sure, the tone is a little busy busier than a restaurant before the virus hit us, but your, your tone sucks. Your tone is lazy. I don't like lazy bokeh tone. Bokeh tone. I just think lenses that focus entirely on sharpness and detail are just the dumbest. They're the least pleasing image I've seen. Like, honestly, this Lawa is too sharp. It's too ass sharp. You stop that down to 2.8, forget filming your face. Forget that life. Sharpness all the way down in camera. Don't, you better be shooting wide open on that one. It's like, holy shit, like why are you showing me this stuff? I don't need to see the mysteries of the universe here. I'm a photographer. I paint dreams for people. So I hope lens manufacturers of the future make some old time of glass, some smaller stuff, some 1.8 primes. That's all we need. I'm sure I wasn't willing to stop down. That's 1.8, that's good enough. What do you need back there? Give me a break. I even pushed this back a bit to get less tone. I could get more, you don't think I could? And this is cinematic now. This is basically a movie. Oh, look at that. Maybe. Are we? No. There it is. I'm a movie. PG-14 on this one. This is the maximum Tony point achieved. There's Tony balls back there. A lot of Tony balls back there. There's a 14% chance that one of my eyes is in focus. And I'll take that chance. I like those odds. So be proud of your flaws. Embrace them. Laugh at yourself. Then who's going to laugh at you? The world can't laugh at you if you laugh at yourself first, can they? They could. It still hurts. But still, we learned nothing. But we could have learned. And how's the vlog look? Was it worth $250? They could have just shot an HLG. It's the same thing. Oh boy. Is their dynamic range increase? I hope there is. That will help your buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt decision. And subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.